You might recall yesterday, we had a look at a diagram like this. You do not need to redraw this because you should already have this in your book. I want you to have a look carefully at what this looks like and see if you remember, don't look at your book, see if you remember, what's this talking about? I, there are two angles in here that are important. Where are they? There's one at the center and then there's one at the circumference. You can see, I've highlighted in orange over here, see this arc? Both of the angles that you just described are standing on that arc, okay? So what's the relationship? Do you remember the relationship? Angle at the center is twice or double the angle at the circumference standing on the same arc, okay? So if I call this theta, then this would be two theta, okay? Uh, the question was very insightfully raised. Yeah, but the proof that I did for this depended on being able to do this construction. Right, do you remember I sliced it down the middle, I made those two isosceles triangles? But, and this is what you're going to do on your first diagram over here. There is a way to construct the same situation, but different enough that this method of proof doesn't work. Let me show you. Go ahead and draw this one. This one's going to be important. <coughs> We're going to scroll, scroll all over this. So Eric, this is your question from before. you got your angle on this, at the center here. But if I don't draw the angle and the circumference at a nice neat spot, like up here, if I draw it at an awkward spot, like say over here, the diagram you get looks quite different. This is what it looks like. Not bad. Um, this is the same situation. Angle at the center, angle at the circumference, standing on the same arc. And in fact, the, um, the property still holds, which is one of the lovely things about it. However, I can't, like, where, where would that line go? See my line that goes through the center? It's not going to divide that thing up in two like it did before, nice and neatly. So how is this going to work? Interestingly, it is still going to work remarkably simply. So remember this time, uh, last time rather, I drew a line from the point of the circumference to the center. I drew that radius, I went a little bit further so I could do that exterior angle of a triangle thing. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So here's the angle at the circumference and I'm going to join it up to the center, like so, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So how am I going to get to, like what's my aim? I wanna show that this angle in here is double this angle over here. Okay, and I want to use some basic geometry and isosceles triangles because we know they're everywhere to prove that. Let's begin by just giving some names to these things. Okay, so do you remember what I called? I called each of these little angles that make up the angle and circumference. I called them any names I like. I think I called them alpha and beta. Do you remember that? So I'm going to call this guy alpha and this guy beta. Okay, the difference here is that the angle I'm going to end up with, this one in here, it's not going to be 2 alpha plus 2 beta, is it? In this case, on this diagram, what do I want that angle to be? Just 2 beta. Just double that angle on the circumference. The alpha is not included, but it's kind of hanging out there on the side. Okay, there's loads of isosceles triangles in here. I can see at least two that relate immediately to the two angles that I've just drawn. Anyone want to suggest to me, let's put some names on this, shall we? Let's call this O, let's call this A, B, we'll make this guy C. Would anyone like to describe an isosceles triangle? Oh, I should name this, let's call that P. Would anyone like to describe an isosceles triangle for me and tell me what to put in there? Uh, a, O, and O, B, like the legal line. A, O, O, B, these guys are radii. Let's mark that in. So therefore, what statement can I make about angles that goes with that pair of equal signs? Any takers? You, everything is named. You don't have to point, you don't have to use vague words. You can tell me which angle you mean. Yeah. OBP is equal to OAP. Thumbs up, right? Those are both the, um, they're the base angles of this isosceles triangle, right? So that makes that alpha. Okay. So far, so good. There's an, another isosceles triangle in there. Can you tell me where it is? Um, OA and OC. OA and OC, also radii. So in fact, I can mark in that as equal. So what would be the pair of equal angles that matches that pair of equal sides? 
Okay, so you've got alpha plus beta in this corner, which means you get alpha plus beta in this corner. So far so good? Are you happy with that? Me too. Okay, now pause for a minute. Here is the interesting part. We've done the easy bits. Remember where I want to get to. I want to get to here. Let me give you a couple of minutes to have a think about how you'll get there. If you've got an idea, call me over. Done? What I would like you to do is make sure your pens are down and your eyes are up because if you blink, you will miss it. It's that quick. Okay? I want you to look at that, uh, what's there. And I also want you to remember how we did it last time. Do you remember, for instance, if I call this alpha, then you got another alpha in the corner, just like we have, right? And then directly from there, what knowledge did I use to go straight to this angle? What did I do? I used the exterior angle of a triangle. Do you remember that? And I just said immediately that's two alpha, okay? You can do an intermediate step. You can work out what this is with the angle sum of a triangle, if you wanted to. And then you can work out this angle because angle's on a straight line, okay? But you don't need to, you can go there directly. And there's something similar happening here. Remember where I'm going. Remember where I'm going? This, is, um, this angle here is my destination, okay? So what is the quickest possible path to get there? Tell me what that angle is equal to. One step. Only one step. You can go there directly, yeah. Alpha plus two beta. Alpha plus two beta. Do you see why it's alpha plus two beta? Because it's the exterior angle of which triangle? What's the name of the triangle? ACP. ACP, very good. Okay. So, do, do you see it yet? Did you catch it? T uh, what did I just say? Alpha plus two beta. But alpha plus two beta is not just the exterior angle of this triangle, it is also the exterior angle of OBP, isn't it? This guy over here. So it stands to reason that it's still the sum of the opposite to interior angles. But you know this one, it's alpha. So therefore, this has to be 2 beta. Checkmate in two moves. Okay.